Okay, in this video we'll be uh, using RS Logics 5000 um, and showing the difference between a standard tag and a alias tag. We'll also show you the uh, scope level tags and the, uh, the program level tags. So I have a base program right here I called alias tag program <clears throat> and in that program I have made a UDT. Uh, the UDT is pretty simple. It's just uh, 64 bulls, uh, which is a standard bit, um, and they're, uh, I, I labeled it state. So in program one, or in, in the main program right here, we'll add another one, and we'll call it, we'll make sure it's ladder, and we'll call it, um, alias tag and then we'll come in to the main routine and we will JSR that and we'll JSR it to the routine we made called alias tags now this is offline right now so it's uh, basically we'll download. This is going to be done off of a virtual chassis. Uh, so I've already had my emulator. I've already made my my uh, basically my controller and, and set it up. So all I have to do is download. So in the alias tag, um, first off, if you want to see like a program scope tag. So in the program scope tag, you go to edit, you can open the tag, uh, program scope tags, and then edit, and just add, say, for instance, tag one, and then you can have tag two, make sure you change your data type. Uh, I f failed to do that on the first one. So I just want to make that a bool. Um, being that we're in edit, we're not using these. They're not used anywhere, so we can just simply delete them. So we'll come back and add tag 1. Change it to a bool. And that would be a standard program scope tag. So you can only use that in this program. So if I made it, if I come in here and made a new program and said, um, say for instance, I, I called it, uh, I don't know, new program then I can, I cannot use these tags in this program. So in other words, I can only use it in this main program and not this one. So, so in that that particular point, I mean, I can only use that in this this program. Now, in alias scope tags. Say, for instance, we want to, to make an alias scope tag. We can basically come in and go into controller scope, go edit, and say we wanted, say, uh, let, let's just say uh, start button or let's just say uh, yeah, start button start PB and then right here we could say uh, we named it state so we could use that as start button as in state but realistically what we want to do is not put a data type there we want to come in here and put an alias so we don't have any aliases yet so at that point we want to come in here and let's rename this as states
and change our data type to state and that's the UDT that I made and that will give me all the states that I have so at that point we could come in here and we could put um, you know we can do state one and then alias it come down here and put state one and then that, that automatically knows it's a bool so state two and keep doing the same thing so we can keep doing this and have it represent the states that it's doing or say for instance this is very very helpful to actually have as um as it like it say for instance you want to call it um you know um starting and then you wanted to reference like one of the states or something at that point if you wanted to reference starting as in like state one then you could represent starting a state one and then you know we'd obviously want to delete this so we know that starting a state one and then let's call that the, actually let's call that command to start and then we'll call this start starting so we'll come back and put state 2 and we'll delete this one so the reason we have this is like say for instance you, you wanted a command to start you know that's in state 1 starting is state 2 and then running would be state three. So in that point, we could actually come in here and and write the uh, the you know the logic behind this and say, okay, so at this point we wanted to use this. So say for instance we had the start button. So we, we had a we added a start button. Start PB. We made that a tag. And then we came in and said that's gonna issue the so got our, our tag database again, so we're gonna actually have that a command to start so we'll put command to start and that represents state one so at that point we could come in here and say so if state one is active or even that you don't have to you don't have to incorporate that you could just say if state one is active so states and come down here to state one say if it's active then look back at our tag database say starting so we'll come back and throw this one as starting and then we'll come back and, and on add a root wrong and have this as state 2 so if state 2 is active and not state 1 
then we want to say that it's running. All right, we want to do a Well, first off, we want to well, let's go back and look at this. We want to do a command to start and then we want to do a starting. So at that point, you do a command to start, you do a starting, and then after you hit you do a start, you come down and you do running, and at that point you can ind indicate that it's running. So you say, okay, that's state 3. And in state 3, You could just come back and say system. So there's another way, to, you know, you make tags system running and then come down here base alias states and then we want state four for this one. So at that point, we could download and see this happen. So we obviously don't want state 2 or state 1. So at each one of these, you could say, if nothing was active, so to do start, you could say you could do a compare But we won't do that. We'll just come down here and verify and download. And then we'll, we'll throw from uh, program to run. And then at that point, we'll trigger everything. And as soon as that happens, so you can see that the start makes that state so that it commands the alias to come on. The alias we're using down here comes on. It does the starting, which is the alias down here, which if we edited that, So at that point, we could cut the start off and make it real cut and dry simple. So if the start come on, then everything came on. But that happened sequentially, so that happened within a sequential status. It just happens so quick that it looks like it all comes on at once. So, real quick, I just wanted to show the def, you know, the, the separation of alias tags. So this is the tag and you alias it to whatever you want to alias it to. You can use the alias here. Go back and do it, you know, so the alias tags are over here and the tags that are using the aliases are over here. So real quick, I just wanted to give a short, brief explanation of alias tags. And um, again, I hope that helped. And uh, if you have any any uh, questions or whatever, I mean, feel free to leave me, leave me a comment. Thanks.